Hello everyone, I am SV and welcome to my new tutorial. Today we will try to make a redshift ice. Ok, I am in Cinema 4D and I start to change my render. First I am going to redshift and beginning settings just to change for 32. Pass a 32 for more or less fast render. Nothing more, for a moment I change nothing more. Ok, uh, output. In beginning I use 1024 for 20, 20, uh, 1024 for receive the square. Okay? So what now? Now we are create AI. I I am sure that inside in YouTube you already saw many tutorials how to do it, so everybody have his own tactic uh, how to create it, but I show you what I can do. Ok, so I am going to display and quick shading to receive as these lines. So first sphere will be 100 centimeters and 64 segments, like this. What next I will do? Next I am going on top, take the sphere and make it editable. After that I am select middle point and delete to receive this uh, like a hole, ok, we can call like this. Ok, going to side view, take a rectangle selection and drop it down, little bit like this, so little bit down of top one, then take this one and dropping little bit down from this. So you have to receive almost flat uh, surface but with little little bended downstairs, it will give for us a nice effect. Ok, what we will do next? Next we are create one more sphere. So going to sphere and create one more sphere. Size of the sphere will be only uh, let's say 40 centimeters. 40 centimeters and 64 segments and pick up the sphere on top. So I'm going here, pick up the sphere somewhere like uh, that. So 4, we'll pick up the sphere for 70 centimeter. Ok, so we get one sphere, which was editable, yes, 100 cm, which is on middle, and other sphere, other sphere, which we are pick up for 70 cm for 40 cm radius, ok? So we have like this. This is like our basic eye. What we will do next? Next we are going and create a disk. So where we put this disk? I pick up little bit and make radius, I don't know, maybe, 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 maybe 20 only, just something like that. Pick up somewhere here, ok, for what we need this disk, this disk not give for us, so if we are looking inside to that hole, you remember, yes, um, here we have hole, if we are looking inside, we see only uh, this disk and nothing more, so we will keep like this, this is my basic idea how to create eye. Ok, now we are going for materials, now will be interesting, but before, before I like to set up some cameras. Ok, first camera we set up somewhere on this angle, somewhere like this, yeah, to receive more or less this result. We are calling this camera like a side, doesn't matter. Very good, and one more camera we set up on top. I will take a camera, I will call it top, going to options, so will be 0, 0, sorry, yeah, 0, minus 90 exactly, and little bit go to top, so to receive only this area, only this area, ok, something like that, so it will be top, very nice, and what I have, so I take out these cameras from a viewport to avoid any problem. I can check like this or I can check like this, this will be for us easy navigation, yeah? Uh, maybe I also add to this camera some protection tag to avoid any moving if I use this camera. Ok, very good. What we will do now, we are create a one light. I will use a dome light, uh, dome light, dome light, let's say we are going for my collection. You can use any dome light what you like, I mean HDR map. I try to find what I will use, I think I will take something like a, something like that. So 
it looks like very nice i use it okay very good so now we can make a fast render you see yeah i have a square i transfer like this and here i will see my picture okay very nice very nice uh yeah by the way uh i use a I, I am not sure that I use a latest version of Redshift if you have a, some small different. Uh, so my version of Redshift 2618. 2618. I have uh, two video adapters, uh, GeForce GTX mobile version 980 and same GTX 980 because I use a laptop, yes. Okay, let's go. Continuous. What we will do now? Uh, select this. Put on your keyboard Alt G, you have a null object, and we are called I. Okay, very good. So first we will create a first redshift material. It will be dark, only dark, without any refraction, reflection, and color. Nothing, only dark, dark, nothing more. So I apply this material to our disk. Okay, like this. So what next? Now we are create one more material. It will be. It will be without any color, but with full refraction. Like this. So, but take out from refraction and check this link for ref reflection. Uh, if you have this link, your I O R will be the same for reflection. So, but now. For reflection, I like to use a 1.5 with 0.5 roughness, just to receive a very, very small, small point of uh, spe specular. But for a refraction, I like to use 1.1, only like this, to receive something like that, okay? So, what now? I apply this material to my sphere, which is on top. And try to render what I get now. I get like this, and it already looks like I looks like very nice. Okay, what we will do now? We are create a material for all this sphere. Okay. Redshift material, and apply this material to our sphere. First of all, to be sure that all this material have a okay doesn't matter this or this material because it's reflection but this material for sphere should be projection pro, projection sorry like a sphere spherical okay nothing more don't change nothing more so we will use like this okay check what we have so now i like go to dom light and make it uncheck it enable background to receive only black color okay open our material graph open too much because we are make today a very good very nice material like you saw on beginning of this tutorial yeah so what we will do uh, first of all we will create a material blender just take drag on your window and apply like this okay so we have it uh, for material blender we have to create a basic material so i take my material go in here and make it like a base color okay so your basic material first we are going to reflection yes to be sure that our reflection of basic material same like in our uh, this material which we already apply to small sphere yeah okay so I am going and make 0.5 to receive also very small specular here. What next? Next, I like to receive a gradient color. So I am going to texture to ramp and apply this ramp to my diffuse color. Okay, so I have a ramp. What we will do now? So if you will see, I change it and it's going or top and or down. Yes. So. The top material will be white. Down material I will make a completely red. Now I get like this. So downstairs is red, on top it's white. This is, will be our basic color. What we will do now? We will make a color for our small sphere. 
take new material. So this I think we already can put somewhere somewhere on top we already no need it anymore for a moment yeah okay take one more material and apply this material like a layer color number one so now i will make a something i don't know something like a like a blue okay some different colors just to see what is going on so for this material if it's inside in layer color number one i have to make a mask i will do this mask again by ramp take ramp and apply this ramp to layer one blend color okay what i have i have like this so now i need to receive uh, just moment i will go to my top camera okay uh, now i need to receive this blue color exactly in this position so what i will do i'm taking my ramp and start moving on top you see what is going on so I don't know. Uh, I move somewhere like uh, 89.5. So if you are make exactly same size of sphere like me, you can put 89.5 and white color for 90 exactly. You will get like this. So uh, it already looks like something. Very good. Okay. Now we will make some spots. Again, create one more material. Inside this material, I will use a something like a orange, orange color, okay? Apply this material to my blender, like a layer, color number one. Okay, and now take again, again ramp. So I take a ramp and apply this ramp to my blend color. Okay, I have it. So what we will do now? Now we are going and we will make something noise, some noise for this. So first of all, I check change size. I put somewhere, I don't know, maybe maybe 96% and this is, will be maybe 98%. Something like this, just little bit to receive in this area. You see some small, small, small radius. I make like this. Okay, so if I apply some noise, maybe for two, we will see. Okay, I have a nothing because I have to change a noise amount. So I change for 0 0.1 and you see what I get. Very nice. So now I can check one. Okay, very nice. Two. So maybe I will use a three. Yeah, so I like these spots. Uh, it looks like very nice. I will keep this ramp. But, mm, but, but, but what we will do now. So I like to receive this ramp, this color only inside in this mask, which was created by this ramp. I hope you understood what is going on. So I take this mask, make counter C, counter V, copy, put somewhere here. You see, yes, I have now two, uh, two ramps. One is mask my 4i for inside to receive this color only inside. Other one for these spots. I'm going to color, take a composite. Yeah, I think it's composite. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. Put inside two of them. Very good. Put it somewhere here. Pick up. And inside composite, I will use a multiply. So if I check it how it will be, it will be like this. You see. Only in this area, only in black area, I will receive my mask. Hope you understood what is going on. Okay, very good. So I received my mask. Uh, now, if I like to increase a size, for example, if you are have some different kind of eye, so for example, I am going like this, you see, anyway, it's not going out of my first mask because it's coming multiplied by color composite. You understood what I mean, yeah? So we are create a, like a mask inside in the mask. Okay, next. Next, I like to create around this black hole. A little bit black area so what i will do same like before take and create a new material so this material will be without any color without any reflection just black just black without nothing yeah so uh apply this material to my blender for three color number three uh, today we will use all, all. If you can see, we have six layers, so we will use all of them. 
it will be very very big material okay uh, mask we are going to again ramp we will use again ramp and apply this mask to my layer okay what now now i take this mask and go somewhere somewhere very close to the center something like that you see what i receive it so now i use a 0 0.1 again just to take a little bit noise and maybe i don't know maybe two okay it's too much so maybe i will change a noise amount for zero zero one okay i get like this around you see this is coming very nice two i will use so what will be here maybe maybe i will change for 95 i don't know we will see 95 96.5 okay maybe we can use it okay so we receive it a very nice area also like this black i like to make a round on big around so i take same material and apply this material to four layer color color number four I apply like this of course you can make some i don't know color composite too much mask and receive some other result but uh, i will use a different color so for me it will be for me like this will be more easy okay now i take one more ramp okay uh, apply to layer blend color and now start to play with settings so first of all i like to receive opposite i like to receive like this we are going somewhere here okay you see this is already black so where is i have a white color i will get get this material okay for white i don't know maybe i will use something like uh, 74 we will try okay somewhere around uh, for black i will little bit little bit decrease okay because you see it's coming black inside to my blue color so i will use maybe i don't know something maybe like this okay so you see i have around a black area so but i also don't like to receive a black area in this because here i like to see my uh, base color for this reason i am again take my ramp which was already created copy paste put somewhere here uh, take my composite okay you can take from here i just make a copy paste because it's already some settings for multiply yeah and i will apply two colors here so what i get i get like this result you see i have a black contour but around still a nice so if i use a if i show you this mask this mask looks like like that okay so what now i am going to my ramp first ramp yes which is uh giving me first mask not ramp of my uh, yeah, first ramp i hope you are understood what is going on and start change amount so you see very nice don't forget yeah now it's a mask so all black all, all white color will give me this material this material as you remember without nothing is completely dark okay so what i will do maybe i will make a some very very small amount something like that just little bit you see and start increasing here okay very nice maybe i will use a two no maybe we will use more three okay start to five very nice you see what, what i have i have a very very interesting result so maybe i will use a oh yeah so i like it i will use a 10 uh what i get what i get i'm going here and i get like this result you see it looks like very nice so i have a black around here and black on the contour for a moment for a moment i like it we will try to check it from side side okay it already looks like more or less looks like on some eye later we will do some colorizing i mean more, more more interesting colors yes we will use more realistic now i use a very contrast color to show you a different so what next what we will do next next i like to receive on some on my blue color some nice and uh, noise i don't know like a noise effect so like a more or less real eye yeah you you see what we have this is will be our final result i hope we will get same 
So we already create these uh, orange spots. We already created this mask around and mask inside. So now I like to make it this light blue, uh, light blue lines or noise. I don't know how to call this correctly, but we will try to receive a more or less same result. Okay, going back to our cinema. And now we are create new material. Take new material. This material we will make. Um, okay, we will make a green very very light green uh, to see what is going on so apply this material to our layer number five and like usually take a new ramp so i take a new ramp and apply like a blend color for number five okay so i get like this now i show you very interesting tricks what you can do with ramp inside and redshift with cinema 4d so i'm sure you can do it with Maya or any other 3d application but redshift is working so i i use ramp for mathematical i am going to mass scalar and multiply so i take this and my ramp i multiply and put input number one okay very good after that, I am going here and make something, I don't know, something like a 50 for a moment. Then, all my result which I receive it, I will use for scene. Apply here. So, you see, ramp, multiply by 50, and then use a scene. And apply it here. What I get? I get something like these lines. You see, I received some lines. So now I try to show you from a side what I get. I get something like this. You see, very nice. So if I multiply, for example, I don't know, let's say 100, I will get just more of these lines. 300, I will get more of these lines. You see, I will get very nice. Uh, very nice pictures but if i like to receive not straight uh, straight lines if i like to receive some very interesting noise i'm going to ramp yeah and make some noise so noise will be 0 0.1 just little bit 0 0.1 what i get i get a very interesting result and maybe frequency not one i like to receive more frequency so i just make it five you see what i get i get a very interesting result so going on top and you see what is going on looks like very very nice of course you can make a more i don't know something like 10 you will receive a more detailized pictures is is depend what you want so uh, idea of my tutorial just show you how how to use redshift yeah and final result of course you can reach with experiment maybe somebody don't like my picture especially somebody can do something else apply something more uh, it depends from you but i showing what i can do okay very good so as you can see our material going everywhere so like usually like before i take this little bit down i take my ramp which was created for my eye copy paste ctrl c ctrl v uh, I don't need any more mass. I take color composite, apply this to color composite, apply this to color composite, and use multiply. Okay? So now, my, aha, okay, not, not yet, multiply here. Okay, now my mask applied only inside. Now you understood for what I use this and for what I use this, yes, but what is the problem? Problem is all my layers coming on top, on top and all time on top. So I like to subtract from this my RAM, from this my mask which I receive it, subtract black area. So how to do it? I take again color composite and take this my mask on base color. After that, I take my ramp for black around, from this color which is black around, and apply this for a blend color. Then I take my color composite and go and make subtract. So, from this will be subtract of this. So, now you can see a different. I apply here, and you can see a different. Yeah, black is still I have, but this is a green coming somewhere downstairs so same i like to make with my uh, first black mask which is around here i am again take composite 
So I think I will transfer it somewhere here. Yeah, like this. Somewhere here. This which I receive it. Yeah, I go in here, go and subtract and subtract what? Subtract this one, which was created for my first material for black for this small round and apply here. Okay, now apply like this and what I have. So uh, I hope you understood what is going on. Now I have uh, this my mask, this my mask which is applied for my color not green uh, without black around and without black inside okay like this was before yeah you see not so beautiful like this we receive it now after we are subtract black materials okay so very good we receive it more or less interesting picture more or less interesting picture i don't know maybe 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 i will I will take somewhere closer, maybe like this, this little bit pick up, but it's not, it's not a finish. So now I will take one more material. We are take material and this material will be completely red. I'm just make a red. Okay. Very good. So what next? Uh, I think I don't need any reflection, just red material or maybe, okay, we will see. We will see. And this material I will apply to layer coral, color number six. So I'm put on top because this material, by this material, I will make a small red lines on my eye, on my body of eye. I'm going somewhere on side view. And what I have, what I have for a moment, nothing, because I have to apply some mask. Okay. So I create a ramp like before. By this ramp, going somewhere here, basic color number six, and you see, yeah, everywhere where is I have this ramp, I will get a red color. So now I will change white and black. So white will be somewhere 50 centimeters, and black, I don't know, I will put somewhere maybe 85%, sorry, not centimeters. So, uh, okay, very good. So what I receive it like this, this will be for my colors. Uh, now I'll take one more ramp. Okay. And with this ramp, I will do a same procedure. So I am going to mathematical, same procedure like here. I'm take a multiply. Where is my multiply? Can you see? Okay. Then I take a sinus and this I apply here. This I apply here. And then I will use a color composite. For both of them, I'll take this, I will take this, inside color composite, I use a, what I use? I use a multiply, apply this to blend color 6. Okay, what now? Ramp, uh, second ramp, I will use a mapping vertical, noise will be very, very small, 0 0.2, 0 0.02, sorry. And frequency, I don't know, I will use a 5, maybe like this. And what I have, for a moment I cannot see nothing. Why? Because my multiply did uh, multiply it by 0, but as you know, if I multiply by 0, I didn't receive nothing. So I will increase just something like a 100. And look what is going on. You see, I, I receive it as some kind of red lines, but it's, it's really big for me. So maybe I will use a 200. Okay, now it's better. You see, yeah, so if I change amount here, for example, only 0 0.2, I will get not too much, no, uh, I will get like this result, it depends what you need, but I like to receive more straight lines. And by multiply, I will make uh, maybe two times more, maybe like this. So, okay, for me, for me, it's good result. Now we will try to work with uh, colors. So I show you now a few idea how to make your eye so we are going here uh, for easy your eye you can make only by three colors yeah so this will be like a basic now we are take this material i put somewhere here now i take uh, this material i put somewhere here and i take this material 
I put somewhere here. So by three this color you can make a, any color of your eye. Any. For example, I like to make a brown. So uh, this first is like a base. This some small spots. And this like an additional, I don't know, like a picture, like a finger type of your finger, you know, like a, so, like a picture of eye. Okay, brown eye. I'm going somewhere here. Make something like this. No. Yeah, something like this. So this will be my base. Okay. You see what I get. Then I'm going here and use maybe a little bit dark, little bit something like that. I will get uh, some pictures. And then I'm going here and use a uh, maybe orange, maybe something like this color, okay? So, you see, I get a brown eye. Okay, now it's difficult to understand because I haven't any... Uh, any human yes behind these eyes or any object so it, it is just around and you can uh, you cannot see uh, almost nothing from that so for this reason i am suspend now rendering for a moment yes and i am going to dust studio so uh, i am very lazy to create an object myself i am just take it from dust studio my dust studio is 4.10 uh, and i am going for character from genesis 3 i have many models yeah but i like to take this phonex open wait a little bit and now i will show you what i will do uh, i need only face and more correct if i tell you yeah so it's censura it's nothing so i am going i am going like this just to receive a face uh, maybe some children look at my tutorial i don't know okay uh if i'm going here you see yes what i need i need only this area from all human okay uh what i will do before transferring to cinema 4d i push my eye and this eye from dust studio i no need i just hide it and hide it okay now i have uh, some holes inside but this it doesn't matter yes i can hide everything what i no need okay select everything counter a but deselect two i i no need it i transfer everything except this two i so uh many tutorials also my other tutorials if you are check for dust studio uh, different possibilities of transfer different possibilities of work is completely up to you yes my idea now not to show you how to use a dust studio if you like to see you can check my other tutorials so expert uh, i go into tutorial and this will be tutorial test okay I will use fbx fbx file also it's possible to use obg but for me it will be more faster i don't know i have like the settings i will use uh, fbx 2014 i will wait a little bit just copy paste all my settings what what i have here and put accept okay now we are wait a little bit so looks like finish going back to my project i no need for a moment this eye i no need for a moment this material look at this material fucking it's incredible i don't know okay now going to my settings output 1920846 it will be like a white screen okay for a moment i make made like this and i no need any more any camera so very good for a moment, I will close it. Uh, going to File, Merge, Tutorial, and FBX Tutorial Test. This is our woman. Okay, open. I also don't change any settings from this area. Okay. So, it's coming. Very good. What we will do now? I open. Open. So I no need skin. I no need to see this. No. Okay, very good. Going to points. Somewhere here. Select 
everything what I no need and delete to avoid any time for rendering. So I have only head. Very good. And I have my eye. But before start work with eye, I little bit work with texturing. Yes, because as you know, uh, if I render now, if I render, just moment, we have to wait a little bit. Ah, okay, it's, it's taking time because it's, it's not redshift texture since it's, it's really taking time. So stop for a moment. Okay, what I need? I need a face. For this, mm, come on. Okay, very good. Create material. Going to my face. Copy this texture. Going to redshift material texture and apply it here okay what we will do now we are go to my material texture and apply this texture like a diffuse color okay like this uh, something wrong with my mouse going to stuck uh, next i like to make a, some bump open bump and take composite, uh, not composite, color correct. Take my texture and take out all saturation. Apply this to the bump like a texture input and apply to my material like a overall bump input. Where is it? Somewhere here. Okay, very good. So, and also I like to receive some subscattering surface. So, uh, as you know, inside in the material, what is the problem with my mouse? Just a moment, one second. I don't know. It's in my room now it's very hot. Maybe due to this reason my computer going a little bit to overheat. Just a moment. Okay, now it's moving. So, materials, subscattering, and I don't know. To start subscattering, you have to make one, amount one. And radius, I don't know, I will start from 10, just from mom, uh, point base, yeah, I use a point base. And for my layer co color 1, I also use my texture. So I take my texture, yeah, some of my other tutorials I make a little bit different, yeah, but doesn't matter. More, more important to receive some nice result with fast rendering. Now I check it, this render for me more fast than in some of my other tutorials. But other tutorials I will get, I get it more, not get it, I got, yeah, I got more better result, more better results than now. But now it's not idea to make a very photorealistic uh, skin. Now my idea to make a nice and beautiful eyes, okay? So take this and I don't know, change maybe for two. And I also like to make a layer number one for subscattering, so one, one. And I don't know, I like to use some kind of brown, maybe something like, a, I don't know, 15, maybe somewhere, maybe 83. We will see. Okay, something like this. Yeah, very good. So, just one more time, check what I have. Here, uh, reflection, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I no need any more. And that's all. Maybe I will increase a little bit sampling to get a more better result. And also, maybe later I will increase uh, samples for my dome light. Ah, okay, it's already done, 64. Okay, take this material and alt. hold Alt on your keyboard and overwrite face, like this. So my face is overrided. And I think I no need any more. Maybe I also overwrite hmm, just a moment, give me to check. I stock. Maybe I also take this, make a counter C counter V and override I stock. Yeah, it is will be somewhere inside and just to just to check. So some other one I no need. Lips I no need this no need no need no need okay finish very good okay what now take my eye and as you can see size of my eye will be incredibly big yeah incredibly big so i take my eye and change size i don't know something like uh, maybe 15 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.15 something like this for a moment 
Okay, uh, now we are change position of this eye, 90 degrees, and go up. Yeah, very good, very good and very, very big. Again, going to I and maybe I will change 0, 0.0. Okay, more or less same, more or less same result. Now take this I and put somewhere closer. Somewhere closer, like this. Okay, so going on front view and put here. What I have, size of my eye is not so big, so maybe I will make a 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, maybe I will do like this. Okay, now we will see what we have. I'm going somewhere close and we now create one more camera. Okay. Okay, very nice, looks like very interesting. So take I and put back, back, somewhere here, and then somewhere here, like this, maybe a little bit on top. Okay, so now I'm coming closer for check what is going on. So looks like on top everything okay. Yeah, you see, you see what we have. We have like like this result. Maybe we'll pick up little bit top and little bit front. Okay, so okay, I think it's good position. It depends from you what you like to make. Yeah, but I may make a, some small. So going going to here and this I know I know need because it's it's really too much just take out from this guy and okay I'm somewhere inside we're on the middle uh, now we will set up our dome light okay dome light and I like to receive a more more interesting specular so I will apply again my rendering without this now we will wait a little bit. Okay, render coming. Yes, very good. So little bit, little bit more. Mm -hmm. Something. I like to receive eyes exactly on the middle of my picture. Some something like that. So and how to receive a uh, some nice uh, specular from dome light? I don't know. Just turn. This area will be more dark. This will be more bright, and I will get like this result. You see, this will be from window, and so I'm going to my pictures. Okay. Uh, now we will work, we, we, we are trying to make a same blue eye like in my basic picture. So how to do it? I take just one eye, something like that, okay, to receive a more faster result. I'm going to my material of eye, very good, open, and as you remember we are transfer here three my materials here, so first will be some kind of blue maybe something like that okay second will be okay i'll keep like this and last one will be very very light blue maybe something like i'm select again only my eye and i will show you exactly um, exactly colors which i used for preparation of this tutorial so uh, first color will be like something like a 196 um, 100, come on, 63, not 90, 63, okay, uh, this color will be 33, 100 and 56, okay, and last color will be more bright, so I will use 1A2, I, why I make enter 48 okay and 100 so it will be like this you see I get a very very nice result uh, 
So finish, uh, I'm open full render, how it was before, how I receive it now. So like I told you, yes, you can change uh, different colors, different eyes. Uh, now I show you some small example. I am going to preparation of my tutorial. Uh, I just show you different materials. Just moment is coming to render. Yeah. Open redshift. Yeah, it's really too much. So I take out maybe 32, maybe 16 only. Four to make a more fast calculation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just show you uh, some different possibilities. So, uh, for example, for example, I have like this. Just take this and copy here. Uh, wait a little bit and you will see a result. So you see it's possible to make a green. Uh, it looks like very nice. So take again. It's just to change a color to show you a different possibilities with different results. Some kind of brown eyes, you see you coming very nice. And uh, what I very like, uh, gray, yeah, gray eyes. Now you will see also looks like very interesting, very beautiful, yeah, like this. Uh, so as you can see, we have only one press setup and finally we will get a more more different lights. So finally, when we are get as this picture, we are going to color correction mm, I'm not sure is it if I have it uh -huh, yeah I have so we have to render yeah we are going for our tutorial yes settings so first of all I'm coming to camera I use somewhere here my point and I will use also just close for a moment I will use also a redshift tag for camera and bokeh i will use some bokeh maybe maybe five to receive a, to receive some pictures just moment i will check how it will be i like to receive some small blur but not too much maybe so just a moment i, I like to see now it's really too much so maybe i will use only one or two just i try two I like to receive effect of macro, macro photo, you, I hope you understood what I mean, yeah? So anyway, I think it's still too much, maybe I will use one, because I like also see little bit skin of nose, yeah, so like this. Uh, okay, we receive this result, you remember I told you about the red lines, yeah? Uh, for a moment you cannot see it, but if I am going back, uh, red lines of the eyes. I I don't know how it's in English, but I hope now you will understood what is going on. Uh, this material which we created last one and these lines, yeah. So if I use it, if I use it like it's 50, yeah. I think if I use it like this, my eye will be more red. You see, you can make a like a crying effect. I don't know, or like this very angry effect. It's you see, yeah. So it's completely up to you from your idea what you have to do. But it's uh, everything moving and you can set up during uh, during what... Uh, so I will go back 50 and this I not... Oh no, 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 what I am doing? It was 50 and this was 75, yes, as I remember, correct. Something like this or 85. Now we will see, no, maybe 85 it was. Okay, doesn't matter, 85, so I will keep like this, yeah, somewhere on the corner I can see, okay, so finish, uh, now we are going to final render, I little bit increase, I don't know, maybe 64, maybe 32, something like this, not too much, I no need uh, very good quality of this picture, because everybody can make a render how you like, so now we will wait a little bit, okay. As you can see, render coming very fast. Uh, some noise, of course, we have, but if you are increase the samples, will be very, very clean picture. For sure, will be very clean picture. Okay, very good. So our after effect ready. Now I show you some settings which I use for after effect. 
Okay, yeah, looks like very nice. Okay, so we are going to save this like uh, PNG for 16 bits. I save to my DAS tutorial and like this. Okay, after that go in here, project, open from DAS tutorial png okay yes i have it create for 16 bits increase and apply effect for this like usually i'm doing i'm very lazy for color correction so i am using a magic bullet suit magic bullet looks and from this i don't know i take i take this classic tension yeah and i have very cinematic movies very cinematic look if i increase little bit so uh you see without i have no blurry effect around but with this i have a very cinematic effect so i don't know what is this some um, i think it's some reflection coming but doesn't matter so more or less we receive the same result i think we receive it exactly the same result yeah so my tutorial finish it if you like it please subscribe to my channel share with your friends uh, check all my other tutorials about dust studio about uh some i don't know materials of uh, redshift you can check also my gumroad production i have some materials pack some tutorial special tutorials and uh wish you good day see you next time goodbye friends.